Look how fast these dig. Boom, gone. And you wouldn't even notice, you guys are walking on sand fleas all the time when you go to the beach. They're right on your feet. Do it again, Jackson. Put one more down. Wow. Wow. All right, so when looking for sand fleas, we are going at night because not only can you get away from the crowds, but you can get out of the heat. And it's a lot easier at night because you can just shine your flashlight, find them in the swash zone, and you're good to go. Scoop them up with your sand flea rake. Put them in the bucket. What'd you find, Jackson? Let me see all your sand fleas. Let me see. Good job. How many do you think you got? Like 50? One, two, three, four, five. So these are so easy to find that my four-year-old Jackson, he found them. So simple, guys. You just go, wait for the wave to wash over, and then you dig. Because they get exposed when the waves washes over. You dig them up with your sand flea rake, which you can find at a local tackle shop. Put them in there. Put them in the bucket. Nice. He is so eager to dig them up with his hands. He is cracking me up. This is his first time sand flea hunting. He's only four years old, so this is pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. Meanwhile, Jeremy's over here actually catching sand fleas. Go take him to the water. Nice, so you sift out all the sand. Oh yeah, I already see some. Dude, nice job. Oh, those are good sized ones too. There's some big ones, but there's also some medium sized ones, which are better for baits like pompano and whiting. The bigger sand fleas work better for the drum species. There's a couple of the sand fleas. And you can see they have a, if you can turn one over Jeremy and show them the digging claw. So that right there is the digging claw. That's what they use to, to move the sand. And then there are five sets of legs move the sand up and out, working like a conveyor belt. And show them the eggs. As you can see, see those orange eggs right there? Female sand fleas, this is a female. Female sand fleas can carry up to 45,000 of those eggs on their belly each mating season. Sand flea eggs can wash around for like two to four months in the water before they even make their way to shore. One reason why, why we like to catch these sand fleas is because they're so abundant. They're a good food resource for pompano, whiting, and drum species. But it's so important that you have a sustainable food source, and that's what sand fleas are. Right here, you can see some sand fleas. We're gonna rake them up. You can go ahead and rake them up whenever you're ready. Up oh, there you can kind of see the Vs. There we go. Oh, they're jumping out. And you can do this method as well that Jeremy's doing where he's scooping with his hand and keeping the rake on the downward side towards the ocean so that any of them can't escape and just keep scooping, scooping, scooping. Then go to the water and sift. And sure enough, look at all those sand fleas. Now this one wasn't as many as I was hoping. Hey, there's a male sand flea. They're not insanely rare, but they are pretty rare to find. You find hundreds, if not thousands of female sand fleas to what Jeremy's about to pull out of the rake, which is the male sand flea. You get a good shot of him. Yeah, I'll sacrifice my hand. <laughs> I, know I wonder if they actually pinch. Yeah, they do. Do they? Oh, yeah. I've I never been pinched down. by one. I'm so. like a ghost crab. <laughs> I'm down. That is a male sand flea right there. I know my dad. Pretty cool. All right, let's let him go. About like a ghost shrimp. Pretty cool. That was a male sand flea. We're going to let him go back into the ocean. There's the sand fleas right there. You got him! <laughs> what were you expecting? Hey, there's some sand fleas, some good ones. Pick it up, Jackson. Put it in your bucket. I want, I want to hit the bucket. Okay. This is really a fun thing to do with your kids, guys. If you ever are interested in coming to the beach, maybe you don't even want to fish, just get one of these sand flea rakes. Get into these sand fleas. See, this is what happens when they get into the surf, they just roll and they go upside like that. And the pompano and the whiting, when they get dragged out to sea, just pick them off like candy. All right, so what we're doing is we're just walking down the beach at night, heading over to areas where we see little Vs in the sand. And then we take a sand flea rake, aluminum sand flea rake, and just rake over the area. We find these little Vs or holes and wait for the wave to wash over, scoop them up. Uh, you can see him dive bombing over here. <laughs> Jeremy's fast though. Grab it as many as you can. Let the 
wave come, wash out all the water. And then, Jeremy, let me see what you got. Wow. See, ah, a bunch of sand fleas. That's yeah. awesome. Then you just carry a little bucket like Jackson is, and we have some holes in the bucket wow. so that we can rinse them off. You see the crab, Jackson? Little ghost crabs. The kiddos love catching these. They're fast, do you need a net? Here we go, here we go. Check that out. That is a nice colony of sand fleas. All right, Jeremy, go for it, man. Whoa. As this wave comes, get them. Nice, that was a good scoop right there. Nice work. These guys right here are coquina clams. They're the little filters in the ocean and they make great bait as well if you can figure out how to get them on the hook. But you often find those when looking for the sand fleas. You can put them up there. All right, well, we're just gonna keep enough for bait and then we're gonna release the rest. 